welcome back to Ideas That Shape the World. I am your host, Terdon DeBow, and I am the founder of the Creative Entrepreneur Academy. I am the CEO of Creative Thought Solutions, and I am a partner here at Dream Creative Complex. Now, of course, I have this podcast because I believe that we were created to solve some of the world's biggest problems through the ideas that we have. And so it's the people that take those ideas and they implement them and they're not afraid to step out of the box to get it done. Are Those are the ones that shape the world. So today I'm super excited. We have a wonderful episode with Christina, also known as Miss Basketball. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi everyone. Um, my name is Christina, or affectionately known as Miss Basketball. I am a host, a uh, production and marketing specialist, um, a lover of life, I'm an entrepreneur, and um, just an all-around amazing businesswoman. I like to call myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I also uh, was on the first season of Owns Ready to Love, uh, produced by Will Packer and Oprah Winfrey. So, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. So welcome. I'm excited. I'm excited. Me too. Okay, so it's just a conversation. Yes. <laughs> let's so, converse. <laughs> yes. So, first let's start from now and then work our way back. Let's do it. So, the own TV show, Ready to Love, how did that happen? Oh, wow. Um, how did <laughs> that happen? Well, I had a lot of friends that have been reaching out to me, um, just basically saying, okay, so when are you getting married? Mm -hmm. You work so much. You're always working. You're always on the road. When are you getting married? What are you doing with your life? How's your dating life going? And everybody knows my dating life is a whole nother podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I had a friend that said, hey, they're doing this casting. Will Packard and Oprah Winfrey are doing this casting. I think you'll be perfect for it. And I'm like, I don't want to go on no reality show. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I, look, I work too much. I ain't got time. But um, I decided, I prayed about it and I decided to actually just Go out on a limb just to mm -hmm. see. I mean, my dating life was already not going as well. I'm like, you know what? This show can't hurt. Right. So I decided to go um, on the show. I auditioned for it and ended up getting casted mm -hmm. um, after like 550 million questions. And right. a psyche value. <laughs> they, uh, they picked my crazy self. Now, wait. Did um, they really do a psyche evaluation? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Because you, you got to think about it. Um, one of the things that I really loved about the show and how they structured the show is that they really tried to have people on there that were really looking for love mm -hmm. and that were young, successful, uh, working uh, people. Mm -hmm. So it was like-minded people. You know, you don't want to be coming on shows with crazy individuals yeah. and whatnot. So yeah. um, I really loved that process. I mean, it was very, very tedious and long, but it, I think it was worth it because it's so important for us to know who you're dealing with and who you're around and all these different energies that we have going on. Right. So it was, it was, it was good. But unfortunately, I didn't find love. You know, it was you know. <laughs> <laughs> I did find love, but it was it was it was a cool experience. You got a chance to uh, meet different personalities right. that I've never been around before. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it was very interesting, and yeah. to say the least, I mean, I learned a few things about me as well. So mm -hmm. I mean, a great great experience. So okay. So it was a great experience. You didn't find love. Oh, yeah, I did find love. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I I honestly believe God's gonna send me somebody amazing. I work a lot, so mm -hmm. having a crazy work schedule and workload and traveling every yeah. week, it's pretty hard to date. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm gonna just wait on God. But if you tall, you taller than six days. You ain't got no kids. Your credit's going away, honey. Hey, hey. Tell your baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> so anyone that's watching. <laughs> Um, go ahead and what slide in the DMs? Slide in my DMs. And I may find you. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Now we're gonna need a little bit more polish. Exactly. We're gonna need a little bit more exactly. polish in the DMs. Something. So send an email. Yeah, send an email. Send, send some flowers. Oh, send something send something. Listen to what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it could happen like at the airport. And that's the crazy thing. I mean, oftentimes we, we find ourselves trying to figure it out so much mm -hmm. that we forget to just let it happen. Yeah. And that's when the real things, the true things, they come about. You just, right. just let it happen. So I'm I'm just going to let it happen. Who who knows? I may be in the grocery store. Yes. And I may find my husband. Is that 
it too. All right. So you just never know. You guys drop the box of cereal. You lock eyes. I'm trying and to the rest is history. And then we take over the world. Got all these different businesses and properties and stuff. Just out here, just being great. Just power couple. It's yes, so exactly. <laughs> and I'll host the wedding. Yeah, See? Just, <laughs> Listen, we, we already got a wedding planner and a host. Take Wait, it. I just said plan. Dang it. I just said host. Dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, so now let's backtrack. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to where it all started. Now, I know that you're a marketer. I know that you're a host. I know that you have a passion for basketball. <laughs> and so uh, where did this all begin for you? Where did, where did your entrepreneurial journey start? I think my entrepreneurial journey started... Um, when I was younger, mm -hmm. my dad was a serial entrepreneur, he came from Jamaica, um, and that is the only man I know to this date to have had more than six million jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he made a way out of no way, and then just watching him, you know, take one business and then turn into something else, mm -hmm. and then turn into something else. I mean, he's a bishop. Okay. He has uh he's a real estate owner. Okay. Um he have his own store, so clothing. Okay. Um I mean he's he's done so like just so many different so many different avenues. Right. And just watching him he started us from when we were young. Mm -hmm. We used to go to the camps. So a lot of people used to come um from the Caribbean and come and work at the sugar mill. Okay. So they have like these little camps where all of the Caribbean people stay or whoever's mm -hmm. working at the camp. From young, we used to go out there and sell to the people at the camp. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, that whole learning how to sell and learning how to, to bargain and mm -hmm. learning how to, you know, to talk to people and say, hey, I'll be back this time and network. Right. All came from my dad. So yeah. that entrepreneur's, that entrepreneur spirit kind of just was kind of instilled in me as I was young. And then as I got older... I mean, I've been working since I was 14. Okay. So it's kind of always been like, if you want something, you have to work for it. Yeah. If you don't know how you're going to, you know, figure it out, we'll figure out a way to we'll figure out what you want to do. And then we'll find ways or avenues to get you to where you want to go. Right. Um, so ever since 14, I've been, I've been doing just that. Mm -hmm. um, so working at Domino's and yeah. then you're like, you know what? I want to. I want to do marketing. So I got into marketing um, around about 21. Okay. Um, got into marketing doing um, basically just helping out. It started out as just me helping a company passing out flyers. Okay. I mean, legit going to different clubs and putting flyers on a, on a car. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. All right. If I know if I want to make $500 this week, I got to work this amount of hours. I got to mm -hmm. put this many flowers, I mean, flyers up. I got to go to this many clubs. All right. I got to make it work. So mm -hmm. then I started getting girls to work with me. Okay, cause I need. I'm like, listen, I need to cover more, <laughs> more area, more right. ground. I got to get more people to work with me. So I started, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging other people. Say, hey, you know, hey, there's a job. I can give you twenty five dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Let's let's try to cover all we can. Right. So from there, I just, you know, marketing just always been, just really for me, really fun. It's a way for mm -hmm. me to uh, to connect with people. Yeah. I'm a people person. I love people. So it's kind of been not necessarily easy, right? but it's been a passion so it doesn't feel like I'm working mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's been going ever since from flyering to doing brand ambassador work mm -hmm. to um, to doing product specials that I do now yeah. to now helping other companies with their branding yeah and helping other people to say hey this is what i want to do and then this is how you show them this is how you do it or right. these are the necessary steps that you need to get to this point yeah so it's, it's been great it's yeah. still going so. yeah <laughs> well that's awesome that's awesome that you had that example oh yeah um like from an early age i feel like that's so important to it's be weird. able to to have that example uh, my dad was a pastor, uh, yeah, and my mom was an entrepreneur when we lived in California, and so, uh, like, she never met a stranger. Everyone, that's, everyone that she met was a potential, like, yeah. you know, somebody to work with, or, or, and I saw that, and he used to annoy me when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> He's so annoying. That is, that is, that is honestly, no lie, that is my mom and dad. <laughs> and it's so crazy because a lot of people, they feel as if they can't be nice. Yeah. They feel as if it's some kind of... 
I don't know. It's just like it's so hard for them to be open and yeah. be a nice, friendly human. Right. But my mom and dad, I think they're so blessed and they're so rich, not in just money. Right. But in, in spirit and in health. And yeah. My dad would be 90 on Saturday. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's yeah, like, amazing. Like, they, I think they were so blessed because they're such giving people. Right. And because they, they've never met a stranger. They're mm -hmm. so open and inviting. And they love, they love people. Yeah. And I think it's so important for, to, for me to even have that example. I'm the baby girl of 10. Oh, wow. So, like I said, from young, like, they start, they instill that in us. Mm -hmm. Like, my mom, she was an entrepreneur, too, like, crazy. I mean, she was a school teacher mm -hmm. um, for 45 years. And for, I'm going to say a good... 37, probably a good 40. She sold candy. Oh, wow. I mean, any little thing to make extra money, mm -hmm. we were doing it. Yeah. I remember selling hot sausages, pickle legs, <laughs> all the baked potato <laughs> chips, candy. I mean, all kind of stuff. Yeah. To just make, because you, you always have to say, if you want something, don't just have one source of income. Right. You got to you gotta figure out ways to make more money. Yeah. Because I don't need you begging nobody. Mm -hmm. but no, that was my, now that was my dad. Biggest thing, don't beg nobody for nothing. If you want it, you better work for right. it. Right. And you better figure out a way to work for it. That's so, so true. That's having those, you know, those values at a young age, they really help and help shape who I am. Yeah. And that's something like, yeah, you end up passing on to. Like my uh, my 17 year old yesterday, she um, FaceTime and she's like, Mom, I don't know what happened. I had seventy seven dollars in my backpack and either somebody stole it or I lost it. She was like, How do I get it back? So <laughs> and so I'm like, How much do you have? She's like, I got eight dollars. I was like, Turn it into sixteen. Yeah. I was like, and then do it again. Like keep on doubling it. She was like, Okay. So she went and got some uh some brownies yeah. and some sodas. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna sell these at school tomorrow. I was like, There you go. Yeah. But like if you had like yeah, you teach to fish. Yeah. You know, and then you know, they have that skill for a lifetime like we have the skill now like it doesn't matter if we're in the desert somewhere like <laughs> find some water we're gonna make it work right sell the water oh, sell yeah. the water out the old exactly. so, i got some sand sand right like, you need this is a, this is some hot sand sand right <laughs> right like this is the special kind exactly. of sand exactly this sand here will exfoliate your skin you need this sand <laughs> exactly so like the skill set so as you uh, you know started with you know your business and marketing and, and figuring out like, hey, this is something I love to do. Like what challenges were, were waiting for you to to really, you know, get through that that taught you some really good lessons? The challenges that I really uh, face is procrastination. Okay. Because a lot of people forget um, when you're in this whole entrepreneur spirit and this whole world, everything is, for the most part, you have to be self-motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oftentimes we look for other people to, you know, to do stuff for us. Some people have that, have the ability to just pay people to say, hey, I want you to do this, you do this, you do this. For most of us, we don't have the money right. or the resources just to say, I'm going to pay you to do this and you to do this and I'm just sitting and watch it happen. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of entrepreneurs can do that now because they have the resources and the right. money. But if you're like me, <laughs> uh, procrastination is one of my biggest challenges mm -hmm. because I really... So bad. I work great under pressure <laughs> at the last minute. I, it's always been like that in school. It's I was so, gonna say that usually starts from school. Man, it's, the, <laughs> it's so bad. But the entrepreneurship, it's it's so bad because I'm like, I had two weeks mm -hmm. to finish this task. Right. I could have done it in one day. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I got two weeks. I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna just chill. Yeah. And then maybe five hours before the deadline, right. I, was, <laughs> I was scratching around trying to figure out. And it comes out perfect. Yeah. But it, it it messes up everything else because I could have killed that on the first day mm -hmm. and been doing other things to prolong, you know, to get me further ahead. Oh, yeah. So me procrastinating has been huge in my growth and <laughs> <Okay. laughs> my whole journey of, you know, trying to be a businesswoman because I do procrastinate a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But it's, I mean... And then social media. Yeah. I mean, every little thing because I use social media as a business tool as well. Mm -hmm. But we all know we can get sidetracked yeah. on social media. So right. The, I mean, that, I mean, being being a procrastinator, social media, and sometimes not being self-motivated. Yeah. Because oftentimes we give so much. I find myself giving myself so, I mean, giving a lot of me to other people. Mm -hmm. Because they look at me as, you know, the source of oh, she's doing it and she got it, you know. Right. So I give a lot of my energy to other people and then yeah. the next thing you know, I'm drained. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. 
oh Jesus, like who's gonna motivate, you know, who's gonna motivate the motivator? Right. Who's gonna motivate the person who's always giving so much? Mm -hmm. So having that motivation sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little weak, so that's kind of a challenge for me. Yeah. But I mean it's I Figure out, you know, as entrepreneurs do, we figure out a way to make it work. Right. I mean, we pull ourselves out of those holes sometimes. You be like, how did I even get in there? Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what in the world? And we just figure out a way to make it work. Mm -hmm. But those are some of the challenges that I deal with. But I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, that that's a big thing, too. Like, procrastination, especially, like, if you know something's going to take a lot of time. And it's like you find everything else, to, like yeah, everything else to do. I do. Like you know what? I think I need to plant that garden yep. in the front yard that I've been, I've been, I've been wanting to do that. You plant a garden before you hit yes, that, and, that put it, and put it off. And you know, the crazy thing is, you know, in the back of your head that if you just get it done, mm -hmm. you can do so much other stuff. But you're like, no, I can wait. Right. I got time. Yeah. Because a lot of us entrepreneurs we're on our own time yeah that's the bad thing <laughs> we are on our own time so it's kind of like yeah i, I get to it right and then you're like dang it i should have did because like we got other stuff because mm -hmm. we're always as entrepreneurs we're always figuring out you know uh different ideas yeah. and creative stuff is always popping up and then you always have an idea like oh i should try this yeah and then you yeah. get totally <laughs> sidetracked from what you're supposed to be doing absolutely so, it's a struggle yeah we make it work Man, have you ever had so much stuff on your to-do list that you just took a nap? <laughs> I would just say sleep. Yep, that's me. I do it. I'm like, hmm. I, I got it. like 10 things to do. Like, that just made me tired thinking about all the energy that has to go into yep. this. So I just take a nap. I do it. And then sometimes I have to give myself, because a lot of people think I'm crazy, but I talk to myself a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I have to legit give myself this whole talk. Like, how much I got to do? I gotta do so much. All right, let me just go. Christina, right? Get up. Let's start with the first one. Do the first two first. All right. Do the next two. Mm -hmm. Do the next two. Come on, girl. You got this. Yeah. And then I set. It's so weird. I set alarms to remind myself. You got this, girl. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You can do you it. Gotta encourage yourself. Yeah, and I'm like, you. You kind of have to do it because, like I said, we can get sidetracked mm -hmm. so easily. And yeah. There's so much stuff going on and in life. Yeah. I mean, the weather, all kind of stuff, different factors play in. So you kind of like, I set those alarms. Like, you know what? You got this many hours to finish these yeah. goals. So I try to push myself as yeah. much as I can to make sure I can finish those goals before I fall asleep. Yeah. And then even if I make it, if I make it to five, right? I get, I reward myself. I'm gonna take a thirty minute nap. <laughs> I'm telling you, like you have to, like you got to be your own, like. Your, your own board of trustees. Yes. You but it's always to. that one board member that be like, mm, I'm not on to. it right yeah. now. Like, you know you can do this next mm -hmm. week. You're good. <laughs> so, That's all it is. So, yeah, yeah it's like uh, having that. Now, at, you know, on the journey, we, we meet so many different people. We have to encounter so oh. much stuff. And then sometimes you don't even realize, you know, until people in situations that always bring stuff out like oh so like how have you dealt with like discouragement from people along Ooh. the journey uh for instance like when you have an idea and then somebody said oh that's not gonna work yeah <laughs> or they like just flat out don't support yeah um it happens often um but i i have figured out a way to not even let it bother me mm -hmm. now what really does bother me sometimes is when it's from Somebody that I know. Yeah. And I know they can help me. Yeah. And I know they should be supporting me. Yeah. That's when it really bothers me. But I try my best to say, you know what? If I continue to work on it and I continue to be positive, it's going to work. Right. Regardless of whoever, if God said it's going to work, mm -hmm. it's going to work. So yeah. regardless if you support me or not, at the end of the day, it's going to work. Yeah. And when it do work, don't come over here. Right. Because now I got to charge. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. <laughs> don't come this way. Yeah. Because prices went up. We, we, we close. <laughs> right. 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 So I, I have to, I have to legit just like kind of. Focus on the positive mm -hmm. and encourage myself and say, you know what? Just because they don't see the vision. Yeah. Don't mean, you know, it's not the right vision for me. Right. Everybody, you know, don't wear the same context. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't have the same glasses prescription. Right. My glasses may not fit on your eyes. Mm -hmm. So I can't be upset and be like, you know what? You ain't, you ain't see my vision. Oh, well. Right. I'm just going to be like, cool. 
Yeah. All right. It's right. going. It's going to work because it's my vision. And if I put the work, if I put the work towards it, I believe in it. Mm-hmm. I manifest it. I write it down. Yeah. And I actually like work at it every single day. Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen. Yes. Absolutely. So you would you say you use it as fuel then? Oh yeah. Yeah. I use it. I use it as fuel to uh, to just be great. Yeah. Not even not yeah. even one of those things they'd be like, oh, make your haters your motivators. Not even like so much in to prove them wrong. Yeah. It's to prove me right. Yes. Like I'm yes. not gonna spend time on some you know, I'm just doing this so I can prove all y'all wrong. Right, right. For what? Yeah. Like, <laughs> no. Why? I'm like yeah. for why? No, <laughs> so, like I, I honestly wanna prove me right. Yes. I wanna be able to look myself in the mirror and say, Girl, you did that. Yeah. I believe look, I believed in you. Yeah. I knew you could do it and you did it. Yes. So when I have I have those moments sometimes like I spoke into existence. I you know what? I'm gonna work Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. I had no offers. Mm-hmm. I had no because I, I do a lot of hosting events, and I said, okay, I know I want to work Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna write it down. Right. I'm gonna speak it into existence, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna do the work. I mean, I, I have experience in this. Yeah. I, I've been on stages like this before. I can do it. Mm-hmm. And then somebody was like, oh well, what if you don't get booked? <laughs> but what if I do? Right. What? Well, ain't nobody called you. Ain't no. You ain't. Super Bowl next month. Mm-hmm. Watch. It'll happen. Right. It'll it'll work. You'll see. I'll be I'll be there. Watch. Right. A week later, I got mm. three job offers. Yes. Three job offers. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. like, come on. Come on, girl. So I'm right. hyping myself up. And then two of them fall through. Mm. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. Yeah. And then the one that was left was the lowest paying one. Mm. And I'm like, Lower than my average rate, okay. and I'm like, now y'all, tr- Jesus, what's going on? Like, <laughs> right, y'all trying it, but I, I had a vision, and I said, you know what, I'm going to work Super Bowl, yeah, and everything that I do is gonna work out, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be better than I imagined, right? So I'm like, you know what, do I take this job or just say no? Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna look, I ain't gonna work for that, <laughs> right? <laughs> you right. know, as entrepreneurs, you like, you figure out a way, I can, I can make that in, you know, yeah, I ain't trying me. But I said, you know what? This is what I said I want to do. Mm-hmm. I have to believe and hold myself accountable and just know it's going to work out. Right. I got booked for that gig and end up making three times as much wow. as I originally had my rate for. Mm. And I was like, this can't be my... <laughs> <laughs> what in the... This my... And was on huge stages and so many different people saw wow. me. Like, it was... A, it was Bigger than what I imagined, yeah. all because I legit believed in myself. Absolutely. That if I would have doubted it and been like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Or had that idea of like, oh, I'm worth more than this. Right. Sometimes our blessings are in disguise. Yes. Just to see how bad we want it and to see how committed we are to the process Come and on. knowing that we can be, you know what? Let me just believe in myself. Right. Let me just trust the process and know that what's for me will always be for me and will yes. not pass me. But I got to believe in it and I got to do the work. Yeah. I did the work mm-hmm. and I was rewarded. I'm like, y'all show this my check? Right. <laughs> let me take a picture uh, of it. Like, <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and catch this before they change their mind. Yeah, I took a picture of it and I was like, this, this is three times as much as I was... You know, I was supposed to get paid. I'm like, well, look at that. Yeah. Right so that's just another reminder to me that, like I said earlier, we always have to believe in ourselves. Yeah. Even though we have those doubters. Right. And sometimes we can be our biggest doubters. Yeah. That's so true. So we just have to continue to believe in ourselves and push ourselves, even when sometimes it just don't look like it's going to yes. work out. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that that is, man, that right there. <laughs> You just said a lot you know, because it's so true. Yeah. Like the more resistance you have around a thought, the more that you set yourself back. Mm-hmm. But the more you allow and have fun with it, like I'm the more the more fun I have in life, the more just things I'm, just free. It just freely comes. Yeah, it you freely have, comes. I'm here. Yeah, it just falls into your lap. Like people are always like, "How you got so much favor?" Mm-hmm. I'm like, for one, I know I got. I know I got amazing parents right. that watched over me and that prayed for me and their parents probably prayed for me without even knowing. Yeah. They've been interceding on my behalf for years before yeah. I was even thought of. But I know it's because I'm a, a positive individual. I try to see the positive and the good in everything. Mm-hmm. And usually what happens when I'm super positive and I just 
figure out a way to enjoy every single situation, mm -hmm. stuff always work out. Right. And I always end up getting more than what I even bargained for. Absolutely. And that's all because of having a good positive attitude and encouraging other people yeah. and not being afraid to say, oh, girl, you did that. Yeah. Or, you know, to, to hype other people up to be great, too. Yes. So Absolutely. So you hear that. You hear that she not only had the ideas, she acted on the idea, she executed it, and she believed without doubt that it was going to happen no matter what. And it happened better than she imagined. Like, those are principles that you can use on this journey. Like, those are important principles to use on the journey. And so, if you had, um, if you want to, if there was an idea that you had that you want to spread throughout the world, you know, um, about, you know, something that you're passionate about, what would that idea be? Hmm. What would that idea be? That's a great question. I think that idea would be to love as many people as you can. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's that's one of my life, I think that's one of my life goals, yeah. is to love as many people as I humanly possibly can. Right. Because I think that's what's missing in a lot of stuff that we do. Yeah. Like, people don't love anymore. People are not compassionate. People have right. no sympathy or empathy. Like, they, they just going through life just like, whatever, I don't need you, you don't need me. But I, I think if we just continue to love each other mm -hmm. and share that whole idea is that if I love something, yeah. it won't feel like work. Mm -hmm. If I love you, it won't feel like it's a hassle to yeah. do something for you. If I love, you know, my ideas and everything, I'll be passionate about yeah. it. So that would be my idea that I would, you know, that I would really want to spread to the world. Mm -hmm. It's just love. Yes. Every single thing. Yeah. Like, don't just like it. Yeah. You got to love it. You got to have some passion behind right. it. You got to have some drive and not just be doing it just, I'm going to do it for the money. Yeah. I'm going to do it because I love it. Exactly. Like every, I'm going to, I love, I love it. Right. right? You know, <laughs> like I just love life. And when you do, life will reward you. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that would be, that would be my, my idea that I would spread. I, I absolutely love that. They're like my only visible tattoo says love here <laughs> because I believe the same thing. Like I believe that everything is rooted either in love or fear. And if you're not operating in love, you're operating in from a, a place of fear. And so um, I would even go on to say like, if you cannot get to a place of love, you need to get to a place of healing oh, well, until man. you can get to a place where you can love not only yourself, um, be aligned within yourself, but then that also spills over into how you treat and how you respond to other people. Love is the key. Like yes. love is the path um, to take because then it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing or, or thinking. Yep. As long as you keep your intentions pure um, and remain authentic, yep. that will all that energy will always come back. It always comes back. Yeah, I, I love always. that. Always. So my last question for you mm -hmm. <laughs> is. Um, I believe we're created to create. Mm -hmm. So what what thing what keeps you creative on your journey? What keeps me creative? I hate being bored. <laughs> I think all entrepreneurs are like that. Yeah. I really hate being bored mm -hmm. in lackluster events and conversations yeah. and people and all of that motivates me to say, you know what? I want to throw a great event. Yeah. I want I want to be the best host with the most energy. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage and love as many people as I can because I hate being bored. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just it's just something that just drives me up a wall to where I can just wrap my wig around my neck. Like <laughs> put me out of my bed. I I hate it with a passion, mm -hmm. but it motivates me to encourage other people to say, hey. You know what? Live an exciting life. Yes. You get one life. Yes. Do things that you're going to be happy about. Not all, even, even if you mess up. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are afraid to mess up as well. But even if you mess up, you fall, you know, like Donna McClark and get on up. Right. Like, right. It's okay. But that's the beauty in it. Yeah. Because you fell down. You didn't stay there. Mm -hmm. You got up. Yeah. And that right there is excitement. And that should just get you so much more excited about life. And yeah. just, you know what? All right. Fair, I got it. It's cool. We good. Yeah. Now I got to figure out a way not to fall again. Yeah. If I fall again, I'm going to laugh at myself again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep on going. Yes. But I just, I just, I just hate being bored and I hate being just regular. Mm hmm Like, look, I don't want to just be regular. I don't want to just be. Yeah, I don't want to be dry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. 
I, I want to live and let my light be an expression of positivity mm -hmm. and excitement and yes. of joy and of courage and yes. of hard work. Because I know if I exude all of that, mm -hmm. all of that will come back to me. Absolutely. So that's what I, I just, I just really, that just really motivates me to be the best individual on top of the world with all my bright colors, even though I'm wearing black tonight because I'm going to kill y'all. Right. <laughs> um, it just encourages me to just be that amazing light mm -hmm. that other people may not have and yeah. to give my light to someone else or to share my light with mm -hmm. someone else, even though, you know, they, they may be a little dim. Yeah. It ain't going to dim my light. Yes. You know, me sharing my light is not going to hurt anything that I have going over here. Right. So I just, I just, I just, just hate being bored. I just hate being <laughs> lackluster. I just hate those monotone people. Right, like, right. All of that encouraging me just to be out. Just live outside the box. Yes. Do amazing things. Mm -hmm. uh, live a life worth living. Absolutely. Like, when you die, I always tell people, when you die, what will people say about you at right. your friend? I don't, I don't want you just... You better cry at my funeral. But <laughs> I don't yeah. want you just to cry at my funeral. Right. I want you to honestly say she changed or inspired my life. Yes. She encouraged me to be the best person that I can be. Mm -hmm. She some kind of way impacted me to be a great human. Yeah. That's what I want my life to be about. And I know if I live a boring life. Yeah. yeah. Or I, I don't do things that excites me, mm -hmm. then I'll be, you know, just ship that is sailed. Yeah. And that that's truly what shapes the world. It's mm -hmm. people that believe that, that carry that mindset. Even this morning. Yeah. As early as we were up. <laughs> you <laughs> know <laughs> you were a ball of light and um and, and good energy. And so like I can appreciate that oh, because <laughs> because it's needed. Like it life is to be fun. It is. Life is to be enjoyed. It is and then to be able to spread light and, and impact the world in the process it's it's just the icing on the cake. Yes, and some people they honestly do feel like you know, for me because I'm I'm a super positive person. Yeah. <laughs> this should be like a happy face of, but uh, and I do got like the resting the resting face. So if I'm not talking about, oh she look mean. <laughs> then when I'm talking, oh my god, I didn't know you were going. <laughs> right? But I think people do kind of get it confused at times because they feel like we don't go through stuff. Mm -hmm. I just choose to figure out a way to navigate that negative Absolutely. energy or the the situation because I'm. Lord knows I'm always going through something. It's either one thing or another. I be like, Jesus, Lord, help me. But I figure out a way to channel positive energy. Right. Because you don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. The person that I'm getting ready to walk into, you know, they don't deserve it. Right. They don't know what I'm going through. Yeah. So here, who am I to pour my negative energy and all the situations and stuff that I'm got, that I got going on mm -hmm. onto them? Yeah. That's Oh, right. Be right. like Chick Fil A. We're having a pleasant day. <laughs> right. You know, even though it may not be going great, you have to figure out a way to challenge all the positive energy you mm -hmm. can, because positive energy really attracts more positive energy. Yes. Negative energy it, it attracts, attracts more. more negative. Yes. Misery loves company. Absolutely. So it's all about making positive choices to mm -hmm. say, you know what. I deal with stuff. I go through stuff. Yeah. But it doesn't define who I am. Yeah. It doesn't dictate my energy. Right. Now, if I need a moment, because I take a lot of moments to say, you know what? You know, do air punches, you know, yes. air punches in the air and everything. <laughs> yes. But then I bring it back because we all mm -hmm. need our moment. I bring it back. Absolutely. And then I deal with people and say, hey, have a great day here at your clay. Right. <laughs> Right. You know, like we all we all need a moment. So I think people forget that, you know, you can be the most positive person in the world mm -hmm. and still go through stuff and have challenges and obstacles. And it's, it's okay to feel. Yeah. 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 People sure. make it like, well, if you're positive, you gotta be positive, you can't feel anything. Like, no, it's okay to feel, but you gotta rechannel. Yeah, y'all gonna get listen, I have <laughs> real tough days sometimes. Y'all want this tough day or not? Right. Y'all gonna let me let me deal in my tough day. Mm -hmm. I'll be back tomorrow. Right. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm having to you have tough days? Yes! Right. I just, I don't need to show you mm -hmm. my tough days. But what I will show you is how I overcame right. my, my tough days. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't, I don't, I just don't believe in promoting 
the negative energies mm -hmm. that we all face. Yeah. I believe in being aware mm -hmm. and, and showing sometimes that, hey, I'm human too. I have feelings. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not as positive as I should be. Sometimes my cup is empty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I need somebody else to pour into into me. Yeah. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm human. Like yes. I, I'm not a robot, even though I'm super positive. Right. Like, I'm not I'm not a robot. So yes. I think it's so it's so important that we, we do show that it's okay to be a positive person. Mm -hmm. It's okay to smile. Yes. It's okay to say, hey, how you doing? That don't mean you flirting. Mm -hmm. It's okay to say, hey, girl. Yes, cute hair. Yes. Yes, how you doing? Oh, I love your face. Yes, cute. Yeah. Because it makes people feel good about themselves. Yeah, and we do more of that. We build We build character. Mm -hmm. We build, We build like, we make people feel good about them. Yeah. Style. And then the next thing you know, it's rubbing off. Mm -hmm. They're doing it to other people. Yeah. So I, I just try to be as much of a light as I can in a world that's so dark and dim, mm -hmm. um, especially with all the stuff we have going on. I just want to be as much of a light as I can to encourage other people to be a light as well. Yes. I love that. And I, and I feel the same way. I like it. <laughs> so we're on the same vibration. I'm so glad that we connected. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, put it out there. It'll and, come and back. Then, yes. yes. <laughs> put it out there and just open your arms and be ready to receive. Mm hmm Like, just, yes. just whatever it is, just put it into the atmosphere and believe and know. Mm hmm You have to, like, you have to really honestly know that, okay, it's going to happen. Yeah. And don't don't get so impatient because sometimes your breakthrough may be right the next day. Right. But you about to give up because you're like, you, girl, I'm tired. Right. Oh, Jesus. Or block it, block it. Or yeah. you block your own. Yeah. Stuff, you yeah. Just, just hold on. Be steadfast and unmovable. unmovable. And just say, I got this. Yes. Whatever it is, I know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. In his time, yes. it will happen and it will be perfect. Absolutely. Yes, so thank you so much You're for being welcome. on here. Thank you for spreading your energy and your light. And I hope you guys got some amazing. She was just dropping jewels over here. <laughs> she got, she, yeah, she was amazing. And so tell everybody how they can Ooh. contact you or you know follow you. Everything. Um, you guys can follow me um on blackpeoplemeet.com. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll just play it. I'll just play it to your daddy. I say, hey. Um, <laughs> but no, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. I don't know if y'all still got MySpace, but my music going on MySpace, so I don't know. Uh, it's Miss Basketball One, M S B A S K E T B A L L, the number one. Um, on all social media platforms, you can also go to my website. It's www.missbasketballone.com to stay up to like. You know, with what I'm doing or whatever. Um, and that's basically it. Follow me. You know, I try to follow everybody. I don't like everybody's energy. I'm just going to be honest. But <laughs> come on, follow me. Let's be friends. Let's network. Let's see what we can create and uh, do some dope and amazing things. Yeah. And if your daddy on here, tell him I said hi. And there you have it. <laughs> Ideas that shape oh, the world. <laughs> um, so, yes. Another great episode of Ideas That Shape the World. Make sure that you are subscribing. Make sure that you are following. Make sure that you, um, www.creativeentrepreneuracademy.com slash podcast. Um, follow us on YouTube. Subscribe on Apple, on Google Play, all those things. All right. And stay tuned um, for the next episode. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>